Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nomad Nee, and today we'll be doing another wine tasting video. Of course, I got all of this from Bright Cellars. Um, I took the wine out of this box, that's why I'm lifting it up so easily. And I chilled them, I just took them out the fridge now so we can try. And also, I did a little softer to be a little fancy. Let me show you guys. I made my own cheese charcuterie board, and I have um, honey glazed ham. I have my cheese, my hard cheese. I have my crackers. I have pineapples, and I have um, my soft cheese, which is from the Laughing Cow. It's garlic and herb, I believe. And I have like um, a Caesar wrap. I didn't have a knife and cut it up all finely to look like pinwheels, but like y'all see the vision. Y'all see what's going on. I'm at the um, screenshot this. But yeah, that's what I have right here. And also, if you guys love the makeup look, I did this earlier today. Watch my um, Shop Miss A makeup routine video i use all of her products except a few which was my complexion shade so foundation and concealer and the eyeshadow everything else is shot miss a so let's get started i've, I've tried one wine already this is the wine i've been drinking in the other videos So this is the first one I've tried. This is the card for it. This is the wine bottle. It's almost gone. Yeah. So um, this is what it says. I will try to um, take pictures and put this in a video right beside it. Pause if you want to read it. But it is from Austria. The old world is a cool climate. And the notes are cherry, rash, raspberry, red currant, and anise, anise. And the alcohol content is 13%. So, y'all, look, look. I did it, yay! <laughs> so, y'all, I finally got a wine glass. I had to come all the way up here, but where I stay at, for the summer. I went to the Walmart here and they had a wine glass. So I hurry up and came back and um, washed it. Like my life depended on it. This is a little too much. Like my life depended on it. And yeah. Since I poured this much, I'm gonna have to sip on this for a little minute. And I've tried this wine before in other videos. I really like it. This is like a very much beginner red wine. So I definitely like that one. And it's a red wine, of course. You guys know I prefer red wine over a white wine. So, um. I would rate that wine um, uh, seven out of ten. They're just tart. I have to get used to having like a tart wine because I'm not trying to go back to being a Stella girl. Huh? <sighs> this is another quart. Everybody doesn't like corks. I I don't like corks. Hopefully this new wine opener because I left the other one at home. This one is a little easier. I had um, my friend to open the other one, but I'm pretty sure they're busy now. So let me be a big girl. So this is what they did. They put it in there. Ugh, it 
like so. I like this wine opener better. It gets the ouch, it gets the job done. See how easy it is to take this out? Well, it's not out yet. Okay, yeah, I like I like this wine opener more. This is from Walmart, by the way, too. It was five bucks. So this is the Stone Lantern. I'm not. I don't think this is the one I had last time because the last one it was you could just twist it open. This one I have to do a little bit of work, and I'm not that type of girl that like doing work. I don't think this is the same because the last time the Stone Lantern was like 14 or 15 percent alcohol. Well, the content. Um, so this is what it looks like. This one is 13.8%. It's made in Horse Haven Hills, Washington. Um, the notes are blueberry, black cherry, plum, and vanilla. So this is the Stone Lantern wine. It was um, made in, I guess, 2019, because that's what it has right here. I'm going to um, take a picture of each of the cards and put it right beside the wine I'm trying. So. So this is the Stone Lantern. I didn't pour as much this time, guys. Fruitier than the last one. I think I like this one better. So I said I'm um, the last one being a seven point, no, seven out of ten. The last one was like a six out of ten. This one's more like a seven point five because it's like a little bit more fruitier. I forgot all about my cheese charcuterie board. Well, my made up. So the next one I'm going to taste. So the next one, <laughs> the next one I'm going to try is from the Vanishing Act, and it's from Washington. And guys, it's a twist cap. The best ones, the best ones, honestly. So the notes are mulberry, black currant, clove, and bacon spices. This is a 14.2 alcohol content, and I believe this was from Washington too. Yeah, it's from Washington. This would go good with barbecue chicken sandwiches and off-grid camping trips. The one before is good for creamy blue cheese, pork tenderloin, and family gatherings. And the first one's good for foreign things. I don't even know how to say those things. So, but let's try it. I think this is the highest alcohol content, 14.2 alcohol level. So if you want something that, um, basically straight to the point, get the Vanishing Act. grown folks business this is like a grown folks wine it's not a grown folks wine the vanish act that's definitely what it is grown folks wine it just makes me feel like so sophisticated like i could be olivia pope or something but i'm scared of stuff I 
I be apprehensive to buy like fruit from Walmart, especially in the container, because it don't be tasting right. But this is this is pretty okay. This one's like a tad bit too grown for me, so I'm gonna give it to my sister. She'll appreciate it. But I'm still giving it a seven. It's pretty good, but it's just a little bit too grown. You know how like you have perfume and like those sweet stuff, fruity stuff like for like younger women and like the uh, more floral or decadent perfume is for like adults. It's like that. So, um, the last one I'm going to try is, oh, it's over here. It's a rosé. That's what it is. If I cannot pronounce things right, but I'm pretty sure I said rosé right. Everybody knows how to say rosé. It is, y'all, I think they listened to me. I really did because, look, hold on. What is a twist top? They really listened to me from the last video because y'all saw me struggling and now look, two of them were twists. The Lord is really blessing me. So um, this is called Life in the Woods. I'm not really an outdoors child, I'm really an indoors child. So hopefully I like this one, a rose. Let's see, it's no sir, lemon, strawberry, raspberry, and rose. Oh no, rose. <laughs> Um, it pairs good with most cheeses and light appetizers, grilled balsamic chicken breasts, and relaxing staycations. And it's from California. I told you I was going to take a picture of each of these. Every time I try a new wine, it's going to be up there on the screen, probably here. Probably over here. Also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. And tell everybody about this video, especially if they like wine. They need to watch this. And this is a 13.1% alcohol content. So this is what it looks like. So yeah, let's just try it. This kind of matches my makeup, like so cute. Ew. Where's the top to this? I feel like if I just leave it open like this, it might as well be some crown. Let me close this like a little sophisticated. Because it's more white. I don't like this. It smells like a hot comb the night before Easter. That's what it tastes like. I don't like this one at all. Mm -mm. I'm gonna drink the rest of it, but I really don't like it. I'll give this one away. Um, I'll rate this out of 10, definitely a three. Because it reminds me of Easter. Easter was always a good time for me. But besides that, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh. Ugh, it's so disgusting, guys. That's why they say relax and stay cautious with to pair with because you don't have a choice if it's already in your house. But if you got a choice, don't get this. Ugh. It just reminds me when I used to go to the hair salon to get my hair pressed and how it would smell. That's how this tastes. Like, eh. Ugh. Just disgusting. I'm going to stay with my red wines because everything else is just Put me into shambles. I think red wine is superior. Vote red wine on your next ballot. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
this can definitely go to hell. Okay, so let me um rate my wine. So this one, don't ask me how to pronounce it because I don't know. Well, I'm gonna show you. This one's number one, as you guys can see. Yeah, this one's number one. This one's number two, Stone Lantern. The Vanish and Act is number three because it's a little too grown for me. And of course, the last one's the one I just tried because it's disgusting. It reminds me of the hair salon, how a hot comb would taste after, you no, know, the night before Easter. That's how it tastes and I just can't. I cannot. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to go watch my other videos. If you miss me so much, go watch my other videos. See you in the next one.